Asus have got some new gaming laptops in their Zephyrus lineup, including what appears to be the first 14 inch machine with up to RTX 2060 graphics. So let's see what they've got coming up at CES 2020. Let's start off with the all new Zephyrus G14, as I found this the most interesting. This is a 14 inch gaming laptop available with up to AMD Ryzen 7 4800H CPU, so 8 cores and 16 threads, and up to Nvidia RTX 2060 graphics, which I'm pretty sure makes this the most powerful 14 inch gaming laptop. Of course, pending new CES announcements still to come. It's under 1.8cm thick, and apparently weighs in at 1.6kg or 3.5 pounds. So I'm really interested to test this one out and see just how hot it gets. Could it be that AMD's 7 nanometer processors are so efficient that even with a 2060 in this smaller chassis it still performs well? You'll want to make sure you're subscribed for my upcoming testing and review. From the press release, it sounds like the 2060 might only run up to 65 watts rather than the usual 80 or 90 we typically see in thicker machines. But again, I want to test that out and see how it goes. To help assist with cooling, ASUS have used their ErgoLift hinge design that we've seen in some of their other laptops. Basically, it raises the back of the laptop up off of your desk when you open the lid, allowing more air to get in underneath so it can breathe, and also giving a slight incline to the keyboard. It looks like it's got a few ventilation holes for air intake too. Air gets exhausted below the screen as a result of the lift design, but rather than directing the air onto the screen, the vents face up to try and avoid this, which I think is the first time I've seen that. There are also some air vents cut into the bottom bezel to help heat escape rather than heating up the screen, and apparently they still manage to fit the same sized fans as the 15 inch Zephyrus. ASUS also say that their software will dynamically adjust power limits based on thermals, so it definitely sounds like they've had a lot of thermal obstacles to overcome getting this level of hardware into a 14 inch machine. But it's good to hear they've considered these things. The G14 is available in Moonlight White or Eclipse Grey and I've got clips from both scattered throughout this video. The lid of the G14 is quite interesting. Normally, it just looks like this. However, you have the option of getting the anime matrix display. With this, there are 1215 individual mini LEDs within the lid, each of which can be controlled between 256 levels of brightness, allowing for some pretty cool effects, such as text, animated GIFs, not GIFs, fight me, and more. Some of the examples they give, with a lid lighting up when it's closed to notify you about a new message, show the time, or battery charge level for example. This optional feature apparently won't be available until March. However, I believe the G14 will be available sooner, though I wasn't given a concrete date. ASUS say they've made sure they balanced the number of mini LEDs to minimize heat and power requirements, but we'll see once they're available for testing. The lid was also made out of aluminium, while the keyboard deck uses a magnesium alloy, so overall it feels pretty solid. The keyboard layout is similar to others from ASUS, though no numpad with this smaller 14 inch design. There are two front facing tweeters on the left and right below the keyboard, and a couple of speakers underneath. Interestingly, it's available with either 1080p 120Hz or 60Hz screen, or a 1440p 60Hz option, which they say is for content creation. But I'm just over here hoping we see more 1440p gaming laptops, ideally with higher refresh rates though. It's also available with Adaptive Sync, which is a nice bonus. Like many recent premium ROG gaming laptops, there's no camera built in with the G14. Otherwise for the rest of the specs, we're looking at Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5, up to 32GB of memory at DDR4 3200 speeds, M.2 slots weren't specified, but given the size I'd assume one. On the left from the back there's an air exhaust vent, power input, HDMI 2.0b output, USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port with DisplayPort 1.4 support, and a 3.5mm audio combo jack. On the right from the front there's a second USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, however there's no Thunderbolt 3 here, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, another air exhaust, and a Kensington lock. ASUS are claiming more than 10 hours of battery life which could be down to the efficient 7 nanometer processor. They didn't specify the battery size, but it comes with a 180 watt power brick, which looked slimmer than most others. And it has the option of Type-C charging, another nice bonus. 
The power button is above the keyboard, and it's got a fingerprint scanner integrated within. ASUS are doing something interesting here. When you press the power button to wake it, it apparently briefly caches the fingerprint, then uses it to log in when Windows is ready. All just so you don't have to touch the button a second time. Maximum lazy mode activate, I guess. That's all I've got on the new G14 for now. Next, let's check out the new G15. Based on the name, you'd think it's just a larger 15 inch version, but that's not the case. I was told to think of this as the successor to the previous Zephyrus G GA502. Like the G14 though, we still get up to 8 cores and 16 threads with the new Ryzen 7 4800H CPU and Nvidia RTX 2060 graphics. And due to that platform upgrade, we can now go to DDR4 3200 speeds. Just for reference, last gen Ryzen capped us at 2400. There's no 1440p option here, but 144Hz or 240Hz with FreeSync are available at 1080p. The G15 also makes use of Type-C charging, and the Wi-Fi has been upgraded to version 6. There didn't seem to be too much more to it compared to the GA502. The design was very similar, same brushed metal lid but plastic interior and base. But it's got a nice all-round spec boost. ASUS also seem to be renaming existing Zephyrus products to try and reduce confusion within their own lineup. I noticed what appeared to be the Zephyrus S GX701 being listed as the S17, so I asked about it. I was told that it's the same laptop but with a name change, to fall more in line with the others. I think they're still keeping the Zephyrus G, M and S product classes, then add on the screen size to the name so you can easily know more about it. I suppose for the same reason, that's why the G15 wasn't called the GA503. ASUS also have a 17.3 inch 240Hz external monitor, but what I found interesting was the detachable tripod that it comes with, allowing you to mount it above your normal laptop screen. The screen also has a 7800mAh battery, so you could use the whole setup without wall power too. I only had time to cover the gaming laptops from ASUS at CES 2020. They'll still be there for a few more days. So let me know if I get time, would you want me to go back and check out the creator stuff like Studio Books, Vivo Books, and Zen Books? Let me know. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed for the rest of my CES 2020 coverage.